as, as far as him saying that I did nothing for the show, I was on the Reddit. I was looking at some stuff. I'm checking wings and boogie. There's nothing like I can really sink my teeth in. Right. So Connor did have a hard task because I couldn't find anything. But then I see his docket and it's like not impressive at all. Like if I had a whole day to put my time and energy towards building a docket, I'd have something good. It doesn't even have to be related to lol cow. Not true. First of all, I said in the stream, El Keem, everybody spam El Keem. I failed. It was a shitty show. I fucked up. So I, I took full accountability in the moment, right? But there were the other things that failed. The docket was complete shit. Wings didn't even show up, right? There were failures all around. That is not why Connor got fired. And speaking about the fucking docket, right? Apparently there was a page in the half and on stream, I was only seeing one page. Like, I didn't see the other page, right? This podcast fucking sucks, dude. <laughs> it's fucking horrible. Keemstar's so stupid, he can't even figure out how to scroll his mouse to go down on a fucking Google Doc. That's that's the state that we're at. And if if you haven't kept up, and this is, this is some trivial-ass bullshit... He said, she said, dancing around, gobbling each other's cocks up. Keemstar fired the editor. The editor clapped back with information as to, wow, Keemstar is being thin-skinned and hypocritical, which is true. That's what Keemstar is. We talked about in the last Boogie video that Keemstar was about to go into a tirade, probably did go into a tirade, but got it cut out of him saying, oh, everybody thinks I'm a locale. Everybody thinks I'm a do 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 and he can't handle it. It's too much for him. He wants to imagine that he's so much better than these other fucking freaks on his show, but can't come to reality that, oh boy, this 50-year-old is right in that niche with the other ones. All four of them on that show, ooh, they're dancing and celebrating. Now, I just want to make a point clear. I know you're seeing gameplay right now. You're seeing me be really bad at some insert video game here. This is mostly a talking episode. There's not really anything going on outside of uh, an occasional Keemstar Twitter video. So we're gonna have gameplay in the background. I apologize if you're like, fuck this, I wanna see zoom-ins of fucking Keemstar's asshole. Well, maybe that'll come out next time. Maybe that'll come out next time. Let me ask you a question. Why didn't you take applies? more than, hey, why are you gonna interrupt me every time I talk? Every time I talk. That's one time, by the way. But okay, no, no, no. Ever since I've been in here, you've been talking over me. Ever <laughs> since I've been in here. <laughs> We've been in here for 30 seconds. Go ahead, Keemstar. Yeah, Calm and down. you've interrupted Calm me down. every single okay. time. And you're Keemstar, doing it relax, again. Relax. And you're doing it again. Go ahead. So are, are, you, he are you asking me a question? Relax. Are you asking me a question or do you want to hear yourself talk? And this is going to repeat during this conversation between the editor and Keemstar. Keemstar talks for 90 to 95% of this entire conversation between the two. Yet Keemstar wants to say that Connor is the one that is constantly interrupting. Connor is the one that is just trying to siphon the information from Keemstar and twist and turn it his own way. And Keemstar can't understand that he has to be right all the time. There's no way that there can ever be a conversation where Keemstar is not right. If he's the one talking and yelling and shouting, you best believe that Daniel Keem, the bald man, by the way, in case you didn't know, this is a tangent, but in case you didn't know, Keemstar doesn't like it when you show pictures of him being bald. He doesn't like it. He wants to be 22 forever. That's why he's dating a 22-year-old. That's that's most definitely what is up, YouTube. I understand that, Keem. We all want to be young. I mean, look at Boogie. You wish you could date a girl as young as him. If only. Yeah, I mean, you missed the boat by, what, three, four years? That sucks, man. That sucks. That's really disappointing. But anyway, he's banning and blocking anybody that shows pictures of him being bald. A uh, very insecure manlet right there, Mr. Keem. Ask your question. This is why I'm, you're fucking gone, bro. You're fucking gone. Why do you want to come on here? No, I'm so serious. I'm bringing Tuba on bro. from Skyfire, who's an amazing editor, to come on and yeah, edit. Relax. Again, we talked you're to coping. you, we told you this so many fucking times before. You don't fucking talk and disrespect the show this way. You did a fucking horrible job. You're over here saying what are you shit talking like, about? oh, Keemstar, they're trying you to have do one forced job. drama. What is Keemstar. the forced drama?
Keemstar, what you have the one first job. Drama? I'll tell you. I'll tell you this. You what is it? Job. What is the first drama? Answer the question. Yeah. Answer the question. This is the first drama. You have one job to do, which is make a live stream once a week. That's your one job, right? You can't come up with it. No, it's not my so one job. Yes, I have many different jobs. That is with, not with my one job. Live. With Lawcat Live, that's your one job. No, yes. that isn't my job yes. either. I got to make sure that you're uploading and you're no, doing you the fucking what you That's Tommy's job. Is it not Tommy's job? What are you fucking talking You're a liar. It's Tommy's job. You're lying. I just fucking Again, contrast that a lie. Is not, that is not a lie. Lie. Have to, cause, okay, lie hey. number one. Okay. So to my understanding, this entire show, Keemstar's whole task is basically to make sure that it, it, it operates, it exists. That's about it. He'll come up with, and that's why he'll come up with show topics. He'll get guests to show up. I know, I know Wings allegedly helps with that from time to time, but he'll get guests to show up and that's about it, right? He doesn't edit the videos. He doesn't make the thumbnails. He shows up to most of the shows to my understanding, but he's trying to pretend like Oh, I'm, I'm just this really busy man. I just, I should be able to put this on autopilot. And the fact that you can't understand it at this point is, is stupid. And the fact that he still thinks that his audience can't see through the veneer that all 99% of the shit they talk about is just forced fake drama bullshit is how stupid do you think we are, Keem? I know, I know you exclusively post on snapchat now i understand it you're trying to connect with the youth that are more similar to your girlfriend you know you're trying to act hip and cool that's why we never see you with your hat off you know they would it would ruin the illusion it would it would suck we can't be having that so because you don't have your 12 year olds on snapchat who are fucking brain rotted and can't fucking have a comprehension as to what's going on, zero attention span. As soon as that happens and you actually have people that are capable of sitting there and contemplating things, everything starts to fall apart and you're fucking pissed about it. You just can't, what? Why is everybody so angry, dude? I just don't get it. It's so frustrating. What are we doing I mean, here? I mean, you guys are, what, what am I going to just interrupt both of you guys to just say? I would like you to because I, I, I can't spurging. stand talking and then he talks on the Okay, every Connor, single Connor, time. Let, Keem, <laughs> let Keemstar speak and then talk when he's finished. All right. Okay. Normal conversation rules here. No. Go ahead. I know. Like, what the fuck is this? That's not true. true. That's not you, true. You don't whatsoever. talk about that at all. So you're Whatsoever. not going to come on here and lie. Your one job is to manage a live stream. You couldn't do it. You pushed off two weeks there in a row. You know no you failed. Lie. There is yes. no lie. And okay. by the way, the docket was fucking garbage. And the fact that you can't accept that is just more of the same. We, like when you do and, a bad and edit Bookie. job and everybody, like literally there's a campaign to fire you. Like everybody wants <laughs> well, okay. you fired. Yeah, they so said about every person. So if this isn't but, cope, like what is it then? Okay. Why does why does the entire fan base want you fired? Why do they spam it every time? You're, yes, they do. Because it's funny. It's funny. Percent true. And this is the fucking shit vortex that we get stuck in. Connor was a horrible editor. He should have been fired back in January when he wasn't posting the shit. He wasn't putting shorts up. He wasn't putting it on Spotify. He basically took a two week siesta and just said, ah, fuck it, we ball. And that's cool, you know, I'm all for stealing money from the corporate entities, right? But Keemstar, kind of kind of stupid on your part, right? You were expecting change, you were expecting, ah, this guy who showed to have a horrible work ethic, doesn't really edit the videos super well, even though Keemstar always asks to have fucking words removed, it's so stupid, like you can do it within the first like 30 seconds of a video. That's what I attempt to do at times. And even then, I've stopped caring about it. Who the fuck cares? If I'm going to get demonetized for saying fuck too many times, then cool. You go off, YouTube. That's you. But Keem needs that cashola, that, that nice green dollar back bills. Now, the problem is, Connor sucked. Everybody was saying that they wanted him fired, and it wasn't a joke. All right? Now, Keemstar brings this new guy in who his very first episode, he fucks up the audio instantly. It's fucking poetic justice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How you are you gonna the show? How are you gonna tell me what I did? You don't know what I'm doing. I've spent, I've been on the Reddit this entire time. I've been like looking at Boogie's Twitter and Wings' Twitter and po so poking So why did you need me streams. to make a docket on, then? Why talking. did you need me to make a docket? I'm docket? still talking, I'm still Go talking. Ahead. Go ahead. And you keep interrupting me before I can finish. I'm looking on the Reddit 
I'm looking on Wings and Boogie's social medias to see what the fuck's going on with them. I'm looking for anybody saying anything about them. And there was nothing this week. So I postponed Tuesday to Wednesday. And then I told you, look, go through the Reddit, grab some fan art, grab some uh, potential drama, grab some things that we can react to and, and talk about, right? And then I look at the docket and there's only a few posts in there. I'm like, well, there's not much to go on. I guess I'll just read these and then add Boogie and... Uh, and uh wings into the call so that's what i did but the docket was not impressive at all the docket was trash you spent 15 minutes on it you're did not going to you, read reddit posts there... about boogie with boogie in the call are you actually just retarded what are you talking about i'm i'm actually confused I, because there's I, no yeah, no shit you're confused you couldn't fucking the run docket. the show no there's shit, nothing you're in the fucking, fucking confused. docket yeah, I can tell you're fucking confused, Keemstar, because you couldn't run the fucking show. No shit, bro. If you weren't confused, you would have brought the cows in and had a whole, like, you know, talk with them while you're reading over the fucking Reddit post, but you didn't. No shit, what you're confused. What Reddit post? What Reddit post? Tell me. What Reddit post? The 15, the 15 Reddit posts that I put in there. Hey, and also what the are dick they? Video. What are they? What are they? You could what have read they? the one about you could have read the one about you and Grace Thorpe. You could have read the one about Boogie update, Boogie updating Desi. You could uh -huh. have talked about Flaming Star and tied uh -huh. in Flaming Star and Desi. You could have talked about that. EDP uh -huh. defending Boogie in the comments. You could have uh -huh. brought him in and so talked the, about EDP. So you could have had Boogie docket. react about EDP. So is the shit. What are you talking docket. about? I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here rambling so off twenty ideas docket. to you. I'm so rambling off twenty ideas docket. to you. So to give some context, if you're like, what the fuck is even going on? Keemstar did this live stream all by himself where he was just talking about drama on it. Didn't have wings, didn't have Boogie in it. Even though Boogie was waiting in the wings, which is a uh, nice pun, ha. Huh? Wings was sick, so that's why he wasn't there. But eventually he brings him on and says, hey, Boogie, what do you think of all this? Keemstar does not understand how the fuck this show should operate at all, right? You're supposed to present this information in front of you know whoever and then get them on the spot to fucking sweat it out not ah uh, boogie it says that you can't mow the lawn <laughs> you know laugh like a fucking monkey like keemstar does and 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 that would be a plus content but keem can't understand it and the docket to my understanding had a bunch of posts from the reddit now the reddit is pretty uh pretty dead you know they're getting five comments per shit 20 upvotes maybe i mean it's it's hard to pick through what you actually want at that point but hey that's your job editor i can't be doing anything i'm the entertainment mr keem well so just take the l bro that, that l is going to you because you are officially fired and no, like I'm no mean fired. yes you are i fired. have a new editor I'm actually getting rid of you. Uh, I'm not fired. It's okay, Kim. You can take an L. I took an L before. I took an L in January. You can take an L. No, no. This like, is a total L from you. It's fine. There's nothing between wrong with that. You me can be and a you. Sometimes. You are fired. Like, go, go you, look at the lol cow Twitter. You can, like, you right can now. Be, you I'm going to post it officially. It's okay. It's okay I'm for you to be a cow sometimes. Officially. There's nothing wrong with you being a cow sometimes. It's funny, Kim. It's funny. You, you don't want to accept it. That's up to you. But you are fired. Just so you know. No, I'm not. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And he rage quit. I mean, he ran. So. Who wouldn't want to work for a guy like Daniel Keem, baby? Isn't this just the exact type of employer you're looking for? I mean, if someday I ever get the Keem stars level, I sure hope I treat some fucking minimum wage employee like this. Hey, fuckhead. Why aren't you doing your job better? Fuck you. Let's get on stream and I'll fire your ass live. Oh yeah. That's fucking epic. That's very cool. Reminder, Keemstar's 45 years old. Just just keep that in the back of your head. But bro can't take it at all. Come on, man. Do better. He then shows that Keemstar removed the first part of the docket that included Keemstar's Reddit post, which reads out, I don't want to fuck Grace, you retards. I don't know why this Reddit is so obsessed with saying, Keem only wants Grace on the show to fuck her. One, I had them on the show the first time because there was a rumor that Grace is fucking her father, and I thought it would be good content. It wasn't, though. It was trash. Two, even though their first appearance was garbage, I had to put them on a second time because the father 
brother got arrested and there was a major update. Three, I only had them on the third time because they accused me of sexual harassment. And honestly, I thought it was a funny bit. Four, have you seen my girlfriend? She's a straight up smoke show. Why the fuck would I want to fuck Grace? Five, everything through one in four you guys on this Reddit already know, but you choose to live in a fairy tale world that Grace is only on the show because I want to fuck her. You are retarded and I'm going to bully you for being retarded. Connor then shows some of the top comments on this post, starting off with legitimate relief 915, who says, gotta love Keem getting all defensive. True lol cow behavior. He knows damn well if she offered the kitty, he'd tear it up. And to say otherwise is BS. The, the fourth comment really gives the vibes of, come on, I'm not gay, guys. I like boobs. Boobs are epic, guys. I really think it's epic. Yeah, Keemstar, I'm sure I'm sure this uh this weird other chick that shows up, you're definitely not attracted to. And also, I mean I'm I, I'm i I'm not gonna throw my hat in that ring, I guess, but uh I'm not I'm not I'm not feeling it with, with Keem's girlfriend. Alright. That's just that's just me. That's cool. Have your own have your own opinion. But the reason why this is so stupid is cause Keemstar, why in the world I don't even know who this fucking Grace chick is. No clue. Never heard of her before until he brought her on the show. She gets no views on your fucking streams. She's irrelevant. She's not on a popular topic. Nobody cares about her. Nobody wants to see updates about them. Yet King brings her back four times. That's sus. That's weird. That's that's a bit kooky. That's a bit odd. I don't get it, Keemstar. Explain it to me. Dream right now is saying all this shit about me. So I went on the stream and he kept interrupting me every time I spoke and then he's calling me a retard and he's calling me this, bro, you're my fucking employee. You don't talk to me like that. Like who the fuck are you? So I fired him. Right? So now he's running on this narrative. Like, oh, you have thin skin. Like you're just the, the real retard is you, Connor go try to talk to your boss like that. Anywhere else in the fucking world. I have so many fucking employees and I got dockets built for me every day for, for by Gino for drum alert that are nine pages long. All right. Like I have employees and none of them talk to me like that and they all work. They all grind. All right. So it, it, it's not just that I have these complaints about your work. It's also that you're a disrespectful fucking asshole. Whatever the fucking false narratives he's trying to spin. Uh, none of that is true. You're, you're literally fired for interrupting me. That's why when you, I was called into Bo Black's stream, you should have sat there and listened to what I had to say, but you decided, no, 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 this is blood sports and I'm going to interrupt Keem and I'm going to do this and I'm going to call him names and I'm not going to let him speak. You're fired. You now work at McDonald's motherfucker. You should have sat there and fucking taken it. You little bitch. How dare you try and defend yourself? That is ridiculous. Mind you, Keemstar, this isn't like a fucking corporate entity, right? You're not working at fucking uh, JP Morgan, right? You're not in some fucking sky rise in downtown Los Angeles. That's not what's happening. It's five fucking inbred morons hanging out together, making a shit show that nobody watches. That's most definitely what is up. Followed up. You talk shit about him on your stream all the time. So is that like an abusive workplace environment? That's the vibe I'm getting. It's a bit it's a bit odd that you're allowed to throw stones at people, but they're not allowed to throw it back at you. That's why you always have them cut out the embarrassing shit that people say about you in the streams, buddy. That's that's sus. Your your, your skin is thinner than paper, and it makes sense because you somehow gotten Wings and Boogie who have skin thinner than you. So you're able to deflect anything towards them and they'll fucking crumble instantly. But as soon as somebody brings up, hey Keem, uh, yeah, you know, I made a docket. You thought it was shit. You also proceeded to delete aspects of that docket. Funny, you left that part out. You couldn't scroll down and you deleted parts of it. That's weird. That's, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, you even said that you wanted the editor to be part of the process. And now he's being part of the process, giving you the most drama that we had in, I don't know, months. And you instantly fire him. And the new guy you replace him with fucking sucks at his job too. Oh, Keem. Keem, buddy, it's not 2016 anymore. You might as well have stuck in the fucking Snapchat world because you're getting eaten alive.
Oh. Um, you know, Keem said that once the show started making 10 K a month, he would start taking a cut. Right. So yeah. he just started taking a cut. So they've just barely crossed that, uh, that threshold. But if they're making 10 K a, a month, that means we're making more than them. No offense to you, but that show fucking sucks, right? It's all fake. Well, it's so fake. I mean, it's, it's very obviously fake. I, you know, I mean, I think the whole thing he pulled with me was definitely fake. Uh, it was made up in his head at least. Uh, and Keem serves amazing content brain. Yeah, no, it's 2K because he keeps taking his 600. 2K, 2K. Tommy C yeah. gets an equal share. Yep, all of them get 2K. Okay. So you were making as much as the hosts. Yep. Yeah, but he's doing honestly. Fuck what you have the editor, most work, though. though. Yeah. But I mean that that's not sustainable. Nothing about well, that show they is sustainable. Don't, I hate to say it, but like Keem is uh, micromanaging that thing way too hard for two grand. Because Connor, like, uh, I, I love you, but he does not need a guy to go in and edit all the swears out of every episode. It's a waste of <laughs> your time and his. I agree. I mean, I would like to not do that. It's less work for me, right? Yeah. I mean, he yeah. should <laughs> pay well, you to I do hate clips to you, but you don't have to do any of it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah I mean. And this is 100% true. Everybody's been saying that the actual live shows are infinitely superior to the edited bullshit. And part of it was how it was edited, too many short jump cuts, stupid shit, cutting out swear words. The show is called Alive. It's not Local Podcast, it's Local Live. So you should upload the lives. Oh, I know, that's, that's a fucking crazy idea. And they're making 10K a month, which is pretty decent, but it's split five ways. I'm assuming they're all getting paid equally, or around that, because the editor's getting 2K. Keemstar's now getting 2K, so everybody else is getting 2K. I don't know. It's like it's a, it's a decent side hustle, especially if you're fucking wings. You work like 10 hours a week, and two of them are on this fucking podcast. That's a you get a thousand dollars an hour. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, I I think they're doing the entire stream slash I don't know aura that surrounds this entire thing wrong. They're so sensitive and butthurt about everything. And Keem starts fixating on the wrong aspect of things, right? Like, a good example, and they're never going to be something like Come Town, but Come Town is a good example where they deliberately made their shit unmonetizable, right? Yet they persevered through it, grew such a large cult following where they were making six figures plus on their Patreon every month, and... Because of that, they're able to get these weird CD companies to invest into them and do sponsorships through them. That's what Local Live could have become. But Keemstar, kind of like any other major media mogul, is going to try and dumb it down for four-year-olds to watch. To try and follow the guidelines that YouTube wants of you. All right? That's not how this fucking thing should have gone. But hey, they didn't, they didn't have a business plan laid out. They're, they're figuring out as they go. Vito, I'm not believing you, okay? You're on your podcast. You're saying Connor did nothing wrong. He never should have got fired. You're on your Twitter. Everybody follow Connor. I don't believe it. You know how I would believe if this was truly how you felt is if you hired him, all right? Let's not talk about it. Let's be about it. Let's instill some confidence in your viewers, in your followers on Twitter, that you really fuck with Connor by hiring him. If he's not hired on your show as an employee, I can't give you any credibility in this matter. I, I can't trust anything you fucking say unless you hire him. If you hire him, I'll be like, you know what, this guy actually does fuck with Connor. This guy really believes in Connor's editing ability and his skills. In this argument that is going on, doesn't mean that you get to have a false equiv equivalency and say that, ah, that means that you have to hire him. If you really want to put your words behind it, hire him. Nobody's saying that Connor was or was not a good employee. I thought his shit was bad. But it also seems like you were micromanaging everything. There were aspects of your fingerprints everywhere and people didn't like it. So because you are incapable of having humility and taking a look in the mirror and saying, damn, you know, I do think I should have fired Connor because he's bad at his job. Fair. But you're going to follow that up and, and call him a retard and shit on him the whole time and then get mad that he retaliates and other people are taking his side? Fucking brain dead. Keemstar is so fucking stupid. And because his ego is constantly absorbing everything in his life, he won't be able to see past the veneer. 
His show will continue to fail. It will continue to suck dick. And he'll wonder in two, three years, hmm, why did the show fail? Well, it's because everybody else sucked. It wasn't me. Keemstar, Sir Keemstar, he's perfect. He could never do anything wrong. So fucking dumb. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.